I was in band. Yes, y'all, I was in band playing the clarinet. I love being black. I'm proud to be black. Black, black, black. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Since you're already here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell, like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Today's video is in collaboration with Rashonda's World here on YouTube. I love Rashonda, y'all. She is so funny. She is so sweet, and she is so supportive, you guys. Go subscribe to her channel. She will definitely subscribe back, you guys. She watches your videos. She leaves you comments. She's great. I love her. I love her. I love her. So, hey, Rashonda girl. I'm so excited to be doing this collab with you. And then today's collab is also with Lynette's Life here on YouTube, you guys. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard about, if you're not experiencing all this crazy winter weather that we're having all around the U.S., you guys, Lynette is experiencing some of that. She has lost power. She wasn't able to record and upload this video with us, um, but she was a part of this collab. So please go check out Lynette's life and Rashonda's world. Subscribe to their channel. Leave them a comment and tell them that I sent you. Their links will be in the description box down below. This is the Black Girl Tag. This is not meant to be offensive in any way. I want to go ahead and preface this video by saying that these are just stereotypical questions that black girls get asked. I was watching some other YouTubers doing this tag and I was looking through the comments and people were kind of offended by the questions or they felt some type of way about it. I don't find these offensive at all. I just thought it would be fun to answer these questions, see what answers we come up with. Not all black girls are the same. We go through different life experiences, we do different things, we behave different ways, and all different black girls might have different answers to these questions. Um, I already know Rashawn is gonna be silly, y'all. I haven't even seen her video, and I know I'm about to be laughing. Question number one, have you ever been told you sound like a white girl? I had to roll my eyes all around the world for that one. I have went through my entire life being told this, like from childhood, even into adulthood. You sound white, oh my God, you sound white, you sound white. What even is that? Speaking proper, having a broad vocabulary, speaking with intelligence, shouldn't be appropriated to a culture. That's just the way I talk. It's not about being white or black, that's just, the way that you speak and something so powerful that us black girls black men and black people are able to do is we're able to code switch i got my facts okay code switching is the practice of alternating between varieties of languages and conversation so for example we're able to speak totally different languages we can be with our family or with our friends different slang different words um, different variations in our voice, different facial expressions, turning our mouths different ways to mean different things. We have the power to do that. We're in a professional setting. We can talk with the best of them. I can debate with the best of them. I can do speeches. I can do anything. And I can speak Ebonics. I can understand what different things mean based on the culture. So something very powerful that we hold, you guys. Um, if you're telling somebody that they talk white, please stop doing that especially for a child don't make them feel that way don't make them feel any type of way because they speak proper or they speak intelligently don't make them equate that with being white because it's not do you drink starbucks no i don't you guys um it's nothing wrong with starbucks i just i don't like coffee at all i know they have more than coffee but it's just too expensive for me and i don't drink coffee so I rarely ever go to Starbucks, so no, I don't drink Starbucks. Do people ever say that you act ghetto? This is basically in the same realm of talking white, acting ghetto, y'all. It's just, it's, it's all about stereotypes, okay? Your personality is your personality. Be yourself, okay? If that's considered ghetto, then let it be ghetto. 
it's okay be yourself well, i don't really get that label or that stereotype um but be yourself if people want to call it ghetto that's fine somebody might think you're this or somebody might think you're that it doesn't matter okay be yourself can you dance not really no so in high school i was on the step team and we did have to do little dance routines with our steps and stuff consider myself a dancer um mm -mm. do you eat soul food yes y'all i love soul food so good if you don't want know what soul food is soul food is just basically good southern food like fried chicken greens cornbread macaroni and cheese um yams stuff like that that's considered soul food did you go to a public, private, or charter school? I went to public school all my life. How long does it take for you to get ready in the morning? I don't wear any makeup, so it doesn't take me long to get ready in the morning. Um, when I was working, I would go ahead and have my clothes out, or if I had a uniform to wear, just wear that. I take my shower at night most of the time, wash my face, brush my teeth, brush my hair if I don't have a type of style in and that's it it does not take me long to get ready in the morning but i do like to get up like extra early to give myself more time because y'all i'm a procrastinator if any of y'all are procrastinators leave me a comment of how you guys cope with it and how you've gotten better because y'all are literally about to see this video in a couple of hours <laughs> like it's late at night i'm recording this video i'm about to edit it and go ahead and schedule it and y'all are about to see it literally a couple hours later yes i have an issue with procrastination so even though i'll get up in ample time i'll do other random things that don't need to be done before i go to work and then within the last 10 minutes i'm scrambling to get ready it's a bad habit y'all but yes it doesn't take me long to get ready at all do you ever take selfies yes i take selfies who doesn't take selfies everybody takes selfies have you ever eaten fried chicken okay this question is dumb <laughs> yes i have eaten fried chicken we ate fried chicken tonight for dinner as a matter of fact have you ever watched the movie Mean Girls? Yes, I have watched that movie. I love that movie. That's a great movie. What is your ethnicity? My ethnicity is Black or African American, whatever you want to call it. Both my parents are Black. I love being Black. I'm proud to be Black. Black, Black, Black. I love it. Okay. I have not done um, one of the one of the tests that you send into the lab where you see all your different all the different races that you have um within you i haven't done that i do want to do that um but as far as i know i'm all black do you always try to look good no y'all i will go out looking at this y'all be seeing me in my vlogs i'm not put together all the time i really it really doesn't bother me i really don't <laughs> Like, I really don't care. Like, I wasn't raised that way, though. My mom is very, she doesn't leave the house without a full face on, with fully dressed, looking nice, hair together. Like, she doesn't, she doesn't go out like that, y'all. I will go out in my pajamas, my bonnet, my scarf, slippers. Like, I just, I don't care. I have to get better about that. But no, I don't always try to look good. Um, yeah. So, I'm absolutely not. I don't always try to look good. Have you ever watched the movie The Color Purple? Yes, I have watched the movie The Color Purple, y'all. I know it's a classic, but I just, I don't like it. I just can't get with it. I don't know, like, I get really into movies, like, and TV shows to the point that I feel like I'm there. So what the characters are feeling, I feel like I'm experiencing it. And I, like, I feel like I'm going, like, I feel like I'm going through it. So it's, like, certain types of movies and shows that I just, don't like to watch no matter how good it is everyone's like oh it's so good it's so good it's just like 
I cannot handle it. Like, I just, <laughs> I can't handle it. Like, comment down below if you're the type that's crying during a movie, that's like feeling it. It's too much. What were your average grades in school? Okay, so in school, I always made really, really good, good grades. Um, like I was in National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, um, I was an NC Scholar. Really fun time in high school. I was involved in a lot. I did a lot. I was in band. Yes, y'all, I was in band playing the clarinet. marching man. I had a really fun time in high school. I was very, very involved in a lot. Um, so in order to be in those clubs, I did have to keep my grades up. Um, so I always did really, really good in school. Majority of the time I got all A's. The only subject that I really, really struggled with was math. To this day, I don't know if numbers just intimidate me or what it is, but I would always either have a B or a C in math. That would always be what dropped me down. I, math is just like, just the thought of it is just like, ugh. but yeah, y'all, I did good in school and I enjoyed school. I really like school. Do you have a lot of friends? No, unfortunately now I don't. In high school I did. I had a big group of friends. Um, I do still keep in contact with my friends from high school, you guys. We're just not close like we all used to be. We all are doing separate things in our lives. Some of them are in different states. We're starting families. We're getting married and things like that. So no, I don't have a lot of friends anymore. I still do have my close friends from high school, just a few of them, but I don't have a lot of friends now. I do not have a big group of friends now. Does your name have Isha in it? Okay, they tried it. <laughs> no, my name does not have Isha in it, but if your name has Isha in it, that's fine, okay? Have you ever dated a white guy? No, I've never dated a white guy. Um, yeah, no, I haven't. Are you loud or quiet? It depends on the atmosphere, it depends on the time of day, it depends on who I'm with, and it depends on where I'm at. And I think that's for everybody, you know. Um, like, my mom is always loud. She's always loud. A combination of both. I can be loud and um, outgoing and extra, and then sometimes I'm just quiet, but I have, I'm a combination of both. Do you ever wear weave? If so, how often? Yes, I do, you guys. Um, now, I wear it more in the form of add it into braids or twists or something like that. I don't wear a lot of sew-ins. Uh, I used to when I was in high school, but I mainly just wear braids and twists and different variations of that. I have never worn a wig. I really want to get, in, I want to wear a wig. Like, I really want to see what it's like. I've never worn a wig. But yeah, I do wear weave. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just hair, it's no big deal. The last question is, what black woman do you look up to? I don't have a particular one person. I mean, of course, Michelle Obama, okay, everyone looks up to her. But any black woman that's out here just doing her thing, taking care of her family, taking care of herself, getting her education, working, traveling, any black woman, I look up to you. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got a little more insight into me and that you will go check out Rashonda's video. I hope you got a laugh or you learned something. And until the next time, bye.